Alright, hey, what's up, guys? It's Christian Stack Up One here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to install and flash um, the Roam CM9 or Sunogen Mod 9. It's alpha right now. It's an alpha beta, alpha version. Um, it does have a couple things that won't work and stuff like that. But if you just want to try it out and see what it looks like, go ahead and continue with the video. And your Kindle Fire does have to have Torp, and it has to be rooted and all that good stuff. But um, go ahead and connect your Kindle Fire to your computer, and have it uh, have it on the um, screen where it's um, connected. Ah, connected to the computer. Where like if you're on the stock room, it has like the little cord with the thing, and it tells you that it's connected to the computer. So once you're all good and you have it connected to the computer and everything works, go ahead and go on your computer here. And have your little folder that shows your uh, Kindle Fire files. Go ahead and have that open. And you can go ahead and minimize that. And go onto your browser. Uh, and go, go to this link here. And I'll have it down in the description for you guys. So you guys could just click on it. And it says XDA uh, Developers. Um, so go ahead and go to that link scroll down and right here you'll see ice cream sandwich uh... keep scrolling and you'll see some blue text right under here it says what works what doesn't keep scrolling until you see downloads right here so you guys can follow me easily um, go ahead and download that zip file it says the room go ahead and click on that and it'll direct you to the download page which is mediafire so go ahead and click download and it'll download here below it will take a little while because it is um, 100 megabytes so go ahead and download that I already have it but um once you're done downloading that go ahead and just exit out of that tab and go back to the go back to this page and right under there you'll see Google Apps go ahead and click on that link as well and it'll direct you to another page so you're just gonna have to uh... wait for ten seconds here and go ahead and click here click that and it says it'll automatically start downloading go ahead and download that as well so once they're both done downloading go ahead and go to your downloads folder and quickly not quickly I mean just navigate to your downloads folder and they should be in here they should be in your downloads folder so once they are in your downloads folder uh, go ahead and move them out to your desktop I have them in a folder you can just move them to a folder as you can see here I have them in a folder. Um, so once you do have them on your desktop, go ahead and go back to your Kindle uh, tab where your files are, and go ahead and open or just move them into your um, Kindle, uh, your Kindle Drive right here. Like what I would do since I have them in a folder, I'm not gonna move them. I'm just going to select them and copy and I can just exit out of that and you go ahead and paste them at the bottom just hit paste and it'll put them in there so once uh, those files are in there you can go ahead and exit out of your Kindle Drive here and then go back on your Kindle so now that you're on your Kindle, all you have to do is just um, turn off or um, disconnect from your computer. And you can go ahead and go back to your home screen, your uh, board thingy here. Go ahead and disconnect from the computer. You can disconnect from the computer now. And put your Kindle into uh, Twarp. So go ahead and turn it off. So turn your Kindle off. 
and from here it's very simple so um, yeah like I said go ahead and turn it off and once it's fully off where the light isn't on go ahead and turn it back on and from here I'm pretty sure if you, if you already have twerp go ahead and hold the power button until it turns orange I'm pretty sure you guys know that if you already have twerp so go ahead and hold that until it turns the light turns orange and it'll go into twerp twerp mode recovery mode so <clears throat> then from here so from here all you have to do is uh, go ahead and make a backup click backup and just click backup so make a backup there and once you have a backup go ahead and click restore and you'll see all your backups that you have so then that's that's good you're good to go so then go ahead and click install and over here on the right side you'll see where it says um, CM90224 zip go ahead and click that and click flash and it'll flash it it'll install the ROM and everything so we'll wait for this to be done and this this is kinda lengthy like it does take a little while so I'll be back in a sec when it's um, when this is done flashing alright I'm back and it's done flashing so go ahead and just click main menu and go ahead and click install up here again and go navigate to the right side again where it says uh, gaps ICS two zero one and then the last two numbers will end in twenty four signed zip go ahead and click that and right here it'll say your selection so go ahead and click flash again and this will flash pretty quick it won't take too long not as long as um, the actual um, ROM itself so it'll go through the flashing process and when it's done just go ahead and click main menu and if you want you can make another backup I already have all my backups good and go good good and ready to go so once you have your backup done go ahead and click reboot reboot system and it'll reboot it and instead of your light turning orange it'll turn green obviously because it's going in a normal boot but go ahead and boot up your thing and we'll see what the Cyanogen Mod 9 looks like. It's Android 4.0.3. So, and th th this does take a, a little bit to load up because it is a, a different ROM and it's pretty uh pretty big size. So I'll I'll uh, get back to you guys because uh, this does take a while to load up. So I'll see you when it's done loading up. Alright guys, I'm back and it's done booting up and it's just loading up my apps that I have installed on here. So it, it does look pretty cool. Um, it has like a blue coloring to it. Um, this this uh, ROM is a bit uh, glitchy. Um, there's a couple of stuff that uh, that the, the, the yeah, that the developers are working on to improve and to make this uh, room stable but right now it's not uh, it's on it's not stable for daily use um, so if if you install this and everything this is just to look at it uh, toy around with it a little bit um, not really play on it and use all your apps and stuff like that because this will uh, it'll glitch up it'll get stuck uh, you'll have to reboot your Kindle all the like a bunch of times if you're using like big apps and stuff like that like this is just just to look at um, and stuff like that. This uh, they uploaded it for other developers to help on it uh, as well. But um, yeah. So um, it's bo it's booting up right now. It's finishing the boot. It loaded it uploaded all my <clears throat> things. So this is what it looks like. Um, it doesn't have that camera unlock thing that Sunogen Mod 7 does so that's actually pretty good it was pretty pointless because the Kindle doesn't have a um, 
of that uh, a camera. So if that little message pops up, just go ahead and click OK. Click OK here, and as you can see, you're running Cyanogen Mod 9, uh, Android 4.0, ah, Android 4.0.3, and right here is the back button. There's not too many big differences, but um, it looks a lot better, a lot sleek more uh just more better here's the home button here's the recent apps button so uh, up here will be the applications button or not button yeah well, yeah like button thingy here's all your apps um it'll display your apps and once you're done with your apps it'll go to widgets and those are your widgets so yeah that's that's pretty cool so like if you want to go there tap on the camera go ahead and back out and then go into another um, application like say browser and the browser actually works pretty good um, it's actually really really sleek um, it's not too bad but it it can be a little bit laggy at times and yeah this is the the browser it's pretty cool um down here is uh, another thing you just swipe up and you can see the time and things like that just click to minimize that and over here the recent apps here are your recent apps just slide them to the right to kill them like kill the applications in the background that you have in the background so this is uh, Cyanogen Mod 9 you can go ahead and look at it and mess around with it um, so tell me what you think down below if this helped you at all or if you're having any problems so uh, thanks for watching guys and in my next video I'll be showing you how to uh, root and install twerp on your Kindle Fire so thanks for watching and see you soon